Hello everyone, hopefully you are in good health. My name is Noyade Talebi from Department of Natural Resources, Fishery Group in Iran. Our title presentation is about the influences of COVID-19 on marine mammals. For introduction, as you know, in the current century, the world is faced with unprecedented pandemic, not only on humans, but also on fish especially on marine mammals. However, emerging viruses are a major public health problem. Approximately 75% of emerging diseases have animal resources. COVID-19 is an infectious disease caused by severe acute respiratory syndrome, coronavirus 2. The current pandemic it means COVID-19 is related to family coronaviridae and or the nidovirals. This is uh, divided into four agenda, alpha, beta, gamma, and delta coronavirus. Gamma coronaviruses. The first virus was reported in 2008 in Beluga, a uh, whale, a whale died from acute uh, liver failure after suffering a short generalized pulmonary disease. The virus was most closely related to avian coronaviruses. The second one was reported in uh, 2014 in bottlenose dolphin. The virus didn't induce any clinical signs or symptoms indicating an asymptomatic or mild infection. Sano and his colleagues in 1988 isolated a coronavirus from a common carp that died after suffering an acute infection. Clinical signs included erythema or underabendum or uh, hepatic and renal necrosis. The virus is transmitted to carp fry through the water at the temperature of 20. The pathogen was isolated from the kidney, liver, and spleen. In this slide, I can say about how wastewater introduced COVID-19 on many mammals through urban and uh, uh, agricultural runoff or in wastewater effluent. Indeed, uh, emerging reports at the time of publication indicate the presence of SARS-CoV-2 in river water receiving untreated human soil. The virus is contained in this wastewater and sludge is thus deposited on crops and on the soil where they are likely to survive. Many mammals are vulnerable to the influx of pharmaceuticals, personal care products, detergents, and nanoparticles from sewage. Another invisible threat carried in the sewage to marine life is the pot potential influx of foreign microorganisms found in human experiment. And this figure is shown about how wastewater transmitted uh, the coronavirus to marine mammals and is an emerging concern. Disposal materials. As all we know that plastic pollution in the marine environment is a global issue. Uh, however, this virus can uh, survive on surgical masks and other plastic materials for several days. This protective covering as marine debris can introduce uh, this COVID-19 from human to aquatic mammals. The sewage, especially in developing countries, directly go to the ocean without treatment and can transmit the virus to the ocean. However, shops and restaurants reverting to signal use disposable plastic items and supermarkets refusing reusable shopping bags for a period. Citations establish herd and migrate to long distance 
beyond the political and geographical boundaries. These characteristics can increase the chances of an outbreak if it highly infectious SARS-CoV-2 is introduced in their communities. Changes in citizen science data collection. This related uh, to reduction of social interaction for volunteers, as well as uh, the news of important data such as distribution and movement of marine species. However, lockdowns uh, have also been accompanied by an increase in wildlife sightings in and around cities, such as sightings of humpback whales in the waters around metropolitan Vancouver, Canada. Whether this is a result of the overall slowdown in our lives providing the opportunity to look more closely or because there is less human activity allowing animals to enter spaces they previously avoided is unclear. As can be clearly seen that the bar, uh, the bar graph has shown about the total number of reported citations, sightings uh, between two years 2019 and 2020. Marine traffic are reducing the capacity rescue of marine mammals. Uh, this virus pandemic impacted the ability to observe, report, and respond to entanglement pinepeds. Uh, the majority of patients are seal and sea lion pups that are abandoned on beaches. These rescues require members to collect the pups. However, entanglements of seals and sea lions are also responded to. Uh, in addition, risk, uh, reducing the capacity to respond to integrated marine mammals. Um, and finally, there are fewer boats out on the water, for example, commercial fishermen or tour operators, means that the number of injured and integrated marine mammals has likely been underreported. For discussion, as you know, coronavirus uh, is the most important viruses that cause disease in both humans and marine mammals and is known as new emergent viruses and has uh, genetic mutations. This virus is a pandemic disease now, has become a systemic disease in humans and is now considered as a syndrome. There are different coronaviruses have ser serologically cross reaction with each other. Um, in addition to the clinical symptoms of coronaviruses in many mammals are similar to those seen in COVID-19 patients. For cetaceans, quieter waters likely support better communication and hunting, but by contrast, reduced staffing of rescue crews have left distressed animals without aid and likely unable to survive. A reduction in the number of cetacean sighting reports means uh, less data are available for real-time avoidance of ship strikes and other disturbance via the WRAS. Transmission from humans to marine mammals has already been observed. Moreover, pinpointing locations of sewage overflows and pipe leakage will allow for us to better assess of whether where there is the most potential for wildlife to be affected. Last but not least, a consequence of poor wastewater management is the discharge of untreated wastewater carrying infectious coronavirus into natural water systems that are home to marine mammals. 
thank you for your attention and taking your time